News just coming in, Iram Sharmila, the activist from Manipur who has been on a fast for the last 14 years has been detained again by the police just two days after the court ordered her release. The police in Imphal arrived at Iram Sharmila's protest venue to arrest her this morning. Iram and her mother were defiant and they tried to resist the arrest. Iram Sharmila was, is in fact continuing her protest against the Armed Forces Special Powers Act in Manipur. Soon after her release, Iram refused medical examination. There's been heavy police presence at the protest site in Imphal where she is continuing her hunger strike. Remember, Sharmila was released after Manipur court decriminalized her protest dismissing the attempted suicide charge against her by the state. Iram Sharmila has been in custody for the last over 14 years and has been force fed through a tube to deter her hunger strike. We have uh, Singjit, Iram Sharmila's brother joining us on the phone line. Singjit, could you describe to us what is happening there right now? I believe she's been removed from the first venue. Uh, right now, the police Personnel stick of re arrested again, Sharmila, and uh, brought away to you. Yes, and what exactly is the police asking for? Do they want to carry out medical tests on her? Uh, you see, uh, it happens uh, every year, but in, in the middle of this, uh, we we got uh, one uh, moral victory, uh, one stepping stone is here, but. Uh, the our state government uh, will re-arrest we know previously because they will not accept to die Sarmila because if somewhat happened to Sarmila that will happen to the government also that's why they are going to re-arrest Sarmila now and the fitting uh, for medical backup to the uh, Zawla Nehru hospital Right, you're saying she's going to go under medical tests. Uh, they are going to do her medical checkup. Uh, Shingji, she has been force fed for the last 14 years through a nasal tube. Uh, she has been out for nearly 48 hours. Has she had any food? And is she going to continue with her protest in the manner in which she had for the last 14 years? Is she going to be on a hunger strike still? Yeah, yeah, she's going on. She's continuing her fasting until and unless she fulfills her demand, she will continue. All right, so you're saying she will continue her hunger strike. She will not give up on that. She has been re-arrested by the Manipur police again this morning. This after she put a forceful uh, resistance. Uh, she, uh, Iram Sharmila and her mother, who were defiant this morning, they have been arrested. In fact, she has been re-arrested in a period of nearly 48 hours. Thank you for joining us. My colleague Indrajit Kundu is also in Manipur. He's reporting right now on this developing story. Indrajit, uh, there has been speculation about whether or not the Manipur government is going to approach uh, the High Court uh, after the lower court ordered her release. What is it that you're picking up? Well, that's right. Uh, there has been speculation whether the Manipur government is going to challenge the Sessions uh, Court verdict uh, given the kind of uh, you know action that we are seeing, the crackdown that we are seeing right now by the Manipur government on Iram Sharmila and her supporters. Continue with the past. Remember, Ashna, she came out uh, from the Jawaharlal Nehru ward, the custody ward uh, that she was uh, putting up there. Uh, she uh, she did say that she is going to continue with her uh, indefinite hunger strike that she has been continuing for the past 14 years. They would, uh, she would not relent unless and until the Armed Forces Special Powers Act uh, was uh, repealed. And she made an uh, appeal to the central government to repeal the act and uh, she also made an appeal to the public to support her. So the uh, message was very clear that she is going to continue with her protest. So as soon as she came out of the hospital, she went directly back to the uh, you know area where she was continuing her strike. And since then, she has been uh, you know on a hunger strike. So uh, just 48 hours later, the government has once again cracked down on that protest with all the supporters that she was uh, gathered at the protest site. They have forcefully evicted her. What we are learning is that uh, since the police have re-arrested her, uh, right. she, she would be forced to go through a medical examination. But we are learning that Iram Shalmira is resisting uh, the doctors uh, to uh, you know have a medical examination at this point. Right, we are also joined by Rojesh, a fellow activist and a supporter of Iram Sharmila. Rojesh, I believe you were by her side when she was taken by the Manipur police. Uh, for what reason have the police arrested her considering sitting on protest is no crime? Yeah, in fact, the way uh, Iram Sharmila was uh, forcibly uh, brought was very condemnable because uh, they did not bring, the police did not bring any ambulance, but they 
possibly uh, took away, uh, and then they did not. Uh, it's just like a, you know, very inhuman way, like an animal. So I think that's why uh, the mothers who were supporting here were really uh, condemned that the way she was brought. She has she has not been uh, no uh, possibly no fit in the last 30, uh, 38 hours. Uh, but if they wanted to uh, know whether they should be in a proper way. So the way is that this is really condemnable. All right. Thank you for joining us, Rajesh. And thank you, Indrajit, for joining us, getting us the latest update uh, on these developments, dramatic developments there in Imphal, Manipur, uh, where Iram Sharmila, the activist who has been on protest for the last 14 years and more uh, against Armed Forces Special Powers Act, she has been re-arrested this morning.